Hey everybody, welcome to the Weekly Wisdom. It's a pleasure and an honor to have you here. Uh, I got so many wonderful comments from last week's video when I started out with no enthusiasm, no excitement. So many people were like, oh my God, I thought something was wrong. I thought somebody died. But that's how people feel when you walk around saying, you know, I'd really like a better life. I'd really like to have a better relationship. I'd like to lose. No, no. Find that find that inner power, find that that persistence, find that want, find that drive, and just let it pour out of you. Um, so today, you know, it's funny, I'm looking at my book, Totally Fulfilled. This was my first book. I wrote this about 10 years ago. Uh, first New York Times bestseller. It hit the New York Times bestseller list in a couple weeks after being out. You know, I read it now, and there's so much incredible wisdom in this book, but also we evolve, right? If we're not climbing, we're sliding. Um, but man, so many simple truths in here, and I know this has helped transform the lot, transform the lives of so many people. It's really a great book, and I'm just going through it today, and I'm looking on page 123. Three and it says, let go of your fear. And it's got some great pieces. Um, I have a story about my grandmother in here, but one thing that really helps fear, and this is, I'm gonna make this uh, weekly wisdom really short because I have an exercise for you. This week, I want you to spend the whole week thinking about three things in your life that when you're going through them, they were the most scary, fearful things you ever experienced. You thought you'd be broke when you came out on the other side, lose a relationship, lose your life, lose loved ones, um, you, know, I, you know, those things that, that just, just cripple you when you think of the ones that keep you up at night, the ones that cause stress, that make you feel uneasy, give you, you know, that bellyache. I'd like you to think about those, things that happened in the past, and I'd like you to think how you thought when you were going through it. I know it's a simple exercise. You may already have done this or do this for yourself, but I just want you to just flatter me for a second and, and do this. Um, go through it. And think about how you felt when you were going into it and you're in the middle of it. And then think how you think about it now. Did you die? Did you lose everything? And if you did, did you learn something incredible from it? Did you become a better person? Did you open your heart? Was there a byproduct? Was there what Tony Robbins always say? Did, did, did you realize life happens for us, not to us? And, and maybe I'm all wet here and maybe this doesn't make sense to you, but I know when I look back at the hardest things in my life, they molded me. They made me the person I am, even from my craziest that I had as a child. We all have our own stuff, right? I had my own stuff. Uh, and some of the things when I look back were nuts. The experiences and the craziness, but I look and I realize now, even though I felt so bad going through it, I wouldn't change any of it. I came out on the other side, the person I am, the father I am, the, the leader I try to be, the teacher I try to be, it all was there for a reason. It's all part of the soup. And when you realize that, it can help you for anything moving forward. So when you're in it and you think it's the end, go, no, is this the end or is this a new lesson? Is this a life lesson that's going to empower me, give me a byproduct, make me stronger, or be part of the ingredients to a much better soup? So do me that. Please honor me this week and try to find three things. Write them down and then think about, did that really happen? Because in most cases in life, the things we worry about most never happen. They only happen in here. And, and I would suggest to anybody, if you didn't, a quick and wonderful listen is Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret. You can get it on YouTube for free. If you haven't listened to it, I know I've recommended it in the past, go do it today. Don't put it off till tomorrow. Go do it and take Earl's 30-day challenge. It's, it, he did this in the 40s. It was, it was a platinum record in the 40s because people needed this message, especially after the Depression. So I'd love for you to do that. That's my assignment this week. If you are on DeanGraziosi.com, go right up over here and you can get this book for free. New York Times bestseller, still for sale, but it's yours for free plus my latest real estate book. And if you're watching on YouTube or you're watching on iTunes, then go to DeansFreeBook.com. That's DeansFreeBook.com. I'm Dean Graziosi. I'll talk to you next week.